going on, everybody? Pastor Jay with On The Run Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Um, once again, we're here for another week. Um, I'm not sure how long this podcast is going to be, but we're going to give you what we have. And uh, hope that you are inspired by what you hear on today, all right? Uh, I just want to encourage you all. Um, I want to encourage you as individuals. I want to encourage you in uh, as uh, a ministry. And excuse my hands, they're a little ashy. So I, you all know I'm handsy. So I am, uh, my wife has a tendency of moving the lotion around. So um, yeah, I'm a little ashy, but they can tell you I took a shower. So uh, anyways, um, <laughs> I want to encourage you all on today as individuals and collectively as a ministry. And I believe this with my whole heart and that is we're building something and i want you to speak that in your heart i want you to speak that in your mind i want you to speak that in your atmosphere that i am building something god is building something in me you might not see it you might not be paying attention to it uh, you might not even notice it at this point, but I want to encourage you and I want to let you know that we are building something. And not only are we building something, we're building something great for the honor and the glory of God. I'm saying that because what was spoken in my heart on yesterday, uh, I was going to do our prayer regarding this scripture, but it was kind of like, something too good for me to rush through and uh, i didn't want to hold you guys up yesterday in our prayer on last night um but i wanted to talk about this on our podcast uh that we're building something and one of the tricks of the enemy is to make you feel like you're not building because it's not building the way you want it to be built. Let me break it down. Because it's not happening how you want it to happen, that means you're not moving in life. Because your life isn't progressing the way that you want it to progress means you're just going around in circles. No, you are building something. We are building something. We are working on something great. And I want to encourage you to speak that, to know it, to believe it, and to operate in it, that I am building something. I am working on something great. In the scripture that came to me yesterday was Zechariah, the fourth chapter, verse 10, where the spirit of the Lord speaks to Zechariah to speak to Zerubbabel and he says despise not the day of the small thing and I'm reading and, and I believe that's the Christian Standard Bible I, I read many many translations and I uh, did some com read some commentaries on it uh, but I just want to focus in on that part because Zerubbabel felt like because things wasn't happening the way he wanted to happen because he was coming in coming small that it wasn't happening. But the spirit of God told him through Zechariah the prophet, don't despise the small things. Don't despise the things that don't look grand to you. And a lot of times we can uh, push away, we can negate, we can deny, we can uh, look down on because things don't look the way we want it to because the church ain't growing the way that i want it to grow uh that mean uh god ain't with us uh, because my money ain't stacking the way i wanted to stack that mean god ain't with me uh, because my marriage ain't uh being uh, admired by thousands of people that mean uh god ain't with us because i'm not living this instagram filtered lifestyle that i want to live that mean god ain't with me no 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 despise not the small things understand that despise in the hebrew context means to be to look at as insignificant and that's the plan of the devil 
The devil wants you to see things as insignificant in your life. The devil wants you to see things as uh, not worthy in your life. But there are some things that are happening in your life that God wants you to pay attention to, that he wants you to give him praise for, that he wants you to give him glory for. No, it may not be what you want it to be, and it may not be how you want it to be, but understand this, it could be worse. It could be worse than what it is right now, and the fact that you are still moving, that you're still breathing, that you're still going, that you're still able to listen, that you're still able to be placed in your right mind, is your sign from God that he is doing something great in you. That small thing is great. Great things come in small packages, but it's the enemy's job to make you feel like it is insignificant. Can I tell you, the devil is the greatest bully there has ever been. There will never be a greater bully than the devil. And what I, the reason why I'm using the bully analogy is this. A lot of times you see bullies and they're picking on people who are doing stuff that they're not able to do. The bully picking on the kids at the lunch table. Why? Because if you notice, the bully don't got nothing to eat. But everybody else is sitting at the table eating. And instead of the bully uh, 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 feeling sad or, or, or wanting to have sympathy or show sympathy, I'm talking in a in human context, or, or asking for food, he tried to take the he tried to take the food. He tried to uh pick on people who got food look what they eating or whatever like that well you looking at what i'm eating but you're not eating at all it's a distraction bullies distract you from what you have the devil will distract you from what you have the devil will distract you from what god is doing in your life understand this there's nothing that god is going to do for the devil because he has messed up that relationship that relationship will never be reconciled. But you and I have an opportunity to have a relationship with God. You and I have an opportunity to build something and to allow God to build something within you. That can never happen with the enemy. So what the enemy will do, he's that bully. He will come in and he will make you feel like what God is doing within you is insignificant but i want to encourage you not to despise the small things do not despise the day of the small it is the small things that if it is placed in its proper order if it is put in its proper perspective it can help you build something great bricks don't come in big packages bricks are a small are small increments that if it is put together stacked uh stacked together and it is placed in its right area it can grow into something great but all you looking at is all i got is a brick today all god is giving me is a brick today no every day a lesson is a brick and you ought to thank god for the brick you learned or that you gathered for the day and as you build as you stack if you keep going don't stop stay focused stay on the wall don't come down keep moving keep growing keep pushing forward if you keep building you will have something great to behold but what the enemy will do and what we will do, I'm not always going to blame it on the devil. Sometimes it's us. We look at what everybody else got. We look at what everybody else is doing. I remember me with my young foolish self comparing myself to a Kev on stage. And 
This man has been building his work for over two decades. This man has been doing this work. He's been building his brand for two decades. It might seem like it's overnight, but it didn't happen overnight. It took small increments of consistency. That's our problem. We don't want to be consistent because if it ain't happening where we want it to happen, we stop. If it ain't popping out when we want it to pop out, we, st we stop. But we got to be consistent in thanking God for the small things. And Kev on stage built a brand off of small things. And now he has something great, something that we all can admire and aspire to. But don't get it twisted. It did not come overnight. It came through small increments of building each and every day. I remember when this guy used to be on, what was that app called? What's it called? Social Cam, I believe. Social Cam every day driving to work on social media talking just like I'm doing right now. Every day. I remember because I used to be, I used to look at it. I was a faithful watcher of it. Before he became big and before he became uh, known or viral as, as we call it, he was consistently posting something every day and he still carries those same habits every day. And because he was able to stack and be consistent in what he was able to do, he did not take for granted the small things. He kept moving, he kept growing, he kept uh, uh, giving his best at what he had. He had saved up so much to where he was able to take a, a, a calculated risk. A lot of us want to take calculated risk when we haven't stacked up anything. You haven't stacked up the small things. You just want to go out there and say, I believe God and God is going to uh, plant my feet on solid ground. When you ain't built nothing for God to, uh, the small things that, let me put it like this, the small things that God has given you to build that solid ground, you despising it. You throwing it away. Cause it ain't looking like how you want it to. You expecting your first video to go viral. You expecting your second video to go viral. Ooh, I'm gonna call somebody out just then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and call him out cause I know he watching. You expecting your third dinner cell to, to, to put that food truck in there. Man, you gotta be consistent in it. You gotta keep going. You know you gotta give. You know you gotta call it. And I can call him out cause he tough and he, he know who I'm talking to. And uh, 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 he talked trash to me. I talked trash to him. But you got to be consistent in it. What is it that God is giving you? What gift is God giving you for you to be consistent in? And because it happened in small increments, we despise it. Yeah, the first one might sell out. It might do big. You might go viral your first video. Your first podcast might be a huge success. The second one might be mediocre. The third one might be a flop. Keep going. That flop will teach you how to handle failure. There's a lesson in everything. The scriptures is what it is. All things work together for the good of them that love God, those that are called according to his purpose. Everything works together, y'all. Even our flops. There's a lesson in the flop. There's a brick in the failure. That you can help build something great. But we despise even our failures. I am one. I, I talk about myself. I already talked about somebody else. Let me put my own self out there. I, I allow my failure to weigh on me. I allow my failure to failures to 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 keep me down, and it becomes a, a monument instead of a moment. I've been talking about monuments and moments for a long time. Let your failure be a moment in time. Let it be a part of something. Don't let it be the whole part. 
Thank you, Jesus. Let me say that again. Let your failures be a part of something. Don't let it be the whole thing. Because it was just a moment in your life. But if you allow those moments, the, the, the moment of failure, if you're staring at that moment of failure that you had all those years ago, guess what? Although my body is physically in 2024, my mind and my heart is in 2020. That's four years ago. I got to move forward. I got to push through. God knows I made some mistakes as a pastor. I have a lot of failures. I got a lot of shortcomings. God knows I failed as a husband. I got a lot of lessons. I got a lot of shortcomings as a father. As anything that I've done or that I have a position in, I can guarantee you that I failed in. I failed in radio. I failed in doing this podcast. I failed in podcasting. But I'm not going to let that define who I am. I'm gonna, let, me start, let me say it like this. I'm not going to become that failure. I'm going to let it define me. I am going to let it define me. Because I'm going to get the lesson out of it. And I'm going to use it to help build a greater platform. Not for myself, but for the glory of God. Because of my failures as a husband, I'm going to be a greater husband. Because of my failure as a father, I'm going to be a greater father. If I mess up today, best believe my focus and my goal is to put that brick up on, on my wall and stand on it and be better than I was on yesterday. I won't make the same mistakes. It is my plan and my focus not to make the same mistakes that I made on yesterday. That's how you build. But when you despise it and you see it as insignificant and you don't get the lesson out of it, what happens is you repeat what you don't learn. You repeat what you don't comprehend. You repeat what you despise. The thing you despise the most is what you become. We love to talk about people that have hurt us, people that have... Uh, failed us and violated us and all that kind of stuff like that even in your hurt and your pain if you don't get the lesson the things you despise you become so if Zerubbabel would have continued to despise the small things or he would have thought of it as insignificant then he would have been insignificant don't despise the small things take it and run with it. Take it and build with it. Take it and become something great from it. This is why Paul says that in all things give thanks for it is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. He didn't say give thanks for everything. He said give thanks in everything. Even everything that has happened that I don't agree with. God, I thank you for it. Why? Because there's a lesson in it. And why? Because it is in Christ Jesus. It's the will of God for my life. So there's a there's a reasoning behind what I'm going through. Even the things that I feel like is insignificant. Even the things that I feel like are hurtful, that are painful, that have caused me tears and have 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 uh, done so much what I feel damaged in my life, although it might have fit, it might have damaged me, it didn't destroy me, and I can rebuild again. Don't despise the small things. Keep moving forward. We are building something. Y'all can look back and say pastors used to do this and pastors used to do that. Yeah, pastor did this and pastor did that, but pastor is building something. And it's up to you whether you want to be a part of this and keep building or whether you want to be one of those that are despising the small that God is doing and you're going to be the insignificant one while God is elevating the ones that are working towards something great. I can say with all uh, uh, confidence that I'm not there yet. 
I'm not the husband that I want to be. God knows I love my wife. Matter of fact, I told her on yesterday, I said, man, I love you so much. It feel like I am, and I don't want to sound creepy or nothing like that, but I am obsessed with my wife because I love my wife that much. I, I am in love with that lady so much. And I know I'm not the husband that I see myself being. I know I'm not the father that my girls need to be, need me to be. I'm not there yet, but if I keep building, if I keep working, I told Keisha, we are focused on us and our children and God most of all. Everything else is insignificant. We ain't studying no, uh, we don't have time to be looking at the foolish things because that's how you just start despising stuff. We start looking around and looking at what everybody else doing and asking everybody else their opinion and asking everybody what they think about certain stuff. We don't got time for that no more. We got time. Only thing we got time for is building what God has given us. What's in your hand to build? That thing that's in your hand is what's going to help build you. And until the greatness or the platform is finished for me to stand on, I'm going to keep standing on the small things and building and learning and growing from the small things and becoming the person that God wants me to be. And slowly but surely, before I close my eyes, God is going to do something great in my life. As a matter of fact, I believe God is already doing something great in my life, but there's something greater on the other side for me to work. So I got, I can't despise the small things when I have the understanding, when I have comprehend, when I'm operating in the fact that God is building something great in me. We are building something great. 5531 Lenox Avenue is building something great and we want you to be a part of it. We want you to be a part of it. But if you feel like it is insignificant, if you're despising the small, if you're despising the fact that it's the same people every Sunday, instead of seeing the growth of those people, because God knows I ain't the same since I've been with y'all. I am a different Elijah one. I am a better Elijah one because of this ministry. It is not just because I'm the pastor. No, it's because of the people you have helped me mature into the man that I believe God is shaped me to be. But if I'm looking at the size of our ministry, I'm looking at the size of other people ministries and what other people are doing and how other people are moving forward all right like i said on yesterday i'm stuck back over there on plymouth street when we're here on lennox avenue if i'm stuck on plymouth god can't grow me on lennox so i can't i i gotta move forward i can't despise what he's doing on lennox he's doing something great on lennox So I can't get caught up with that. But I realize even now, that's why I'm kind of like taking these pauses and just really thinking like, wow, God, you have really, really matured me. And I thank you for bringing me a mighty long way. You've done something great in my life. And I tell you, thank you. And I appreciate you. And I appreciate the people. My job as a pastor is to make disciples. Our job as believers is to make disciples. Understanding this, everybody don't want to be discipled. Everybody want to be a member, but everybody don't want to be discipled. So that's what we're building. We're building people who when the Lord shall re return, he will find us working not spectating, not spreading foolishness, not living any kind of lifestyle, but people who are working towards seeing him, people who are working towards building something for his kingdom. Blessed is the man that when his Lord comes, he finds him working. And it's those small things 
that he's given us that if we work it, keep working, y'all. Stay focused. You mess up, that's a lesson. I won't do that again tomorrow. I fall, okay. Lord, forgive me, God. I repent for my sins. That's a lesson. I won't do that on tomorrow. I'm better for it. I'm standing on it. And the more you build, the more you will grow, the better you will become for the honor and the glory of God. All right. I hope I said something that made sense to y'all on uh, today. Hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, small podcast. Uh, God has shown me that he's going to grow us and he's going to excel this platform, this podcasting platform. And it's just all about being consistent. Thank God that we have out of all the weeks since January 12th, I've missed one week of posting, at least posting something. One week I think I've missed. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I've missed one week. And that, that shows the maturity and the determination because it's difficult praying on what to say you know, you got to have something to say on Sunday. You got to have something on Tuesday. Now you got to have something to say on Thursday. Then you got to have something for Thursday and Friday because you work at the radio station. It's like, don't that don't count the pe many people you got to talk to throughout the week. And Lord, don't let us be on consecration and where you got to talk every single day. And on Sunday and on Saturday. Like after appreciation, I am going to take a much needed break from talking. I'm still going to do the podcast, but my point is this. I would have used my, me being so busy as a reason not to be consistent in doing this. But I understand that this platform, I don't know where the camera is. I'm not cockeyed, y'all. I told y'all I'm not cockeyed. I'm looking at the screen. The screen is right here. The camera is right here. I think not caca but i understand that this platform or this podcast are bricks that are building a greater platform be faithful in the bricks and the platform will be great all right love y'all from the bottom of my heart continue to uh, stay focused we have 10 days left in this consecration already over halfway done all right so let's keep going, keep pushing. If you failed on yesterday, get up, learn your lesson, and don't do it today. Be faithful in our consecration on today, all right? Fasting is over at noon. You might be watching this at, at afternoon. I don't know when this is gonna post. Um, but tomorrow, if you messed up, start afresh again. Keep going, don't stop, all right? Have a great remainder of your week. Lord's willing, I will see you guys on Saturday for prayer at 10 a.m. We'll be at the church praying. And I pray you guys have a blessed week. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Remember to be positive, be purposeful, be productive, continue to progress. Lord's willing, I see y'all next time. I say it because I love you. I say it because I mean it. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I want you guys to flourish and to live. This is an old throwback to Victorious Life, your best life now. Have a great day. I see y'all later. Peace.